Whether organizing a small meeting, or orchestrating a large conference, event planning is a huge task. Every event, no matter how simple or complex, requires detailed planning and organization. From establishing an accurate budget, to promoting your event, there are a number of components, you should plan early on, to make the process as efficient as possible. Do you know on average, most B2B companies spend, roughly 5 to 8 weeks for planning an event? Also, there is one common mistake, which majority of event planners commit in their project plan. This key factor has a significant impact, on the successful outcome of event management. I would be discussing that point, later in this video. So stay tuned. While no two events are the same, and every event has varying goals, budgets, and audiences, there are several common steps you can take, to jumpstart the event planning process, to keep on track, and conduct a successful event. Here is the 10-step strategy, to come up with a perfect even plan. The very first is to define goals, and objectives of the event. Before jumping right into the logistics, like venue or speakers, you should spend time identifying the purpose, and reason for planning this event. This can be usually achieved by answering questions like, what is the ultimate goal for this event? What made you plan an event, in the first place? Are you looking to drive new sales? Support a product launch? Increase brand awareness? Or maybe, you have a combination of multiple goals? Determine what you are looking to accomplish, and how this event will help you do that. Once you zeroed in on your goals, the next step is to establish the budget, for the event. Creating a budget, is an essential step in event planning, that helps to clarify other aspects of your plan. Additionally, establishing a budget helps to avoid unwanted surprises. You will be more successful, if you map out your entire budget in advance, continue to update as you finalize variables, and stay very close to the process. Based on your budget and initial scope, you should begin to map out, your line item costs, to gain an understanding of, how your budget will be dispersed across your needs. In general, usually event budget can be broken down into groups like marketing and promotion, speakers and talent, printed materials, and venues. As further develop your plan, you'll have to revise the budget. And because you never want to exceed your budget limit, it's common for planners to make adjustments, to ensure you are maintaining your budget limits. After budget, the third step is to build your events team. For small events, you may personally be handling many, or all of the tasks. However, for larger events, it takes an organized team of professionals, to execute the whole event. If you are building a team from the ground up, it's important to designate roles early on, to ensure accountability. All members of the team, should report to a project manager, who has visibility across all of the moving pieces. Do you know for about 45% of official events, consist of 2 to 5 numbers of event team members? So while building your ultimate event team, keep the above statistics in your mind. For example, if you're among the few, that have 5 plus team members, then you can distribute roles like project manager, venue in charge, scheduler, creative head, marketing head, registration lead, sponsor head, and so on. Once you have got your team, the next thing is to keep your team, organized and efficient. With a team in place, you're ready to create an event execution plan. This project plan is, more than just a to-do list. It's a detailed breakdown of every single activity and item, that identifies owners, dependencies, due dates, and completion status. You should be able to justify every action item, by mapping it to your top-level event goals. You can utilize various planning, and project management tools, to complete this step in an efficient manner. The fourth step is to, pick your venue and date. Choosing your venue and date, for your event are two major factors, that will shape the rest of your project plan. Choosing the right venues and date, can make or break the success of your project. Start researching venues, as early as possible. The event marketplace is crowded, so finding a time, when there will be venue availability, is important. When deciding on a venue, you'll also have to consider dates, for your location based on seasonal factors, like travel and costs. The fifth step is to band your event. From the event name, and theme to the event website design, and on-site look and feel, all these elements will set the branding tone for your event. A strong event brand provides a vision, and helps to define the direction of your event. An event branding typically includes elements, like event name, theme, logo, colors, typography, decor, email, signage, and so on. The sixth step is to plan your program. This usually answers a question, like what is the main agenda of your event? Is there a keynote speaker? Will there be, an extra event plan for your sponsors? Will there be workshops and talks? Or will attendees have to choose between sessions? 
By answering these questions, you can begin to develop a high level event program. The seventh step is to get confirmation from sponsors, exhibitors, and speakers. If you're hosting a large scale event, you'll most likely want to get other involved to offset costs and showcase multiple voices from the industry. Speakers, sponsors, and exhibitors are common ways to add value for your attendees and can offset costs. Do you know 74% of event attendees form a more positive opinion about the company brand being promoted after an event? So when planning to rope and sponsor, please keep in mind the above fact. Eighth step is to identify and select your planning tools. Technology is continuously improving the event management industry for both organizers as well as attendees. When mapping out your next event, you'll need to identify the right tools or software to implement your plan and strategy. Based on your plan, you can choose which tool needs to be implemented far before the event, while others can hold off until closer to the big day. These tools usually fall into categories like registration, ticketing, productivity tools, mobile app, live streaming, recording, and so on. Do you know that 83% of event organizers use an event mobile app? A mobile app is a valuable tool in fostering an engaging and informed ambience. The ninth step is to create a marketing and promotional plan. This step basically addresses the question, how are you going to attract audiences to attend your well-planned event? Every successful event has a marketing and promotion plan to spread the word and drum up excitement. There are many different ways to go about marketing your event, ranging from social media and blogging to online advertising. Even billboards come to hand in this digital era. Be strategic and selective while developing your marketing plan. The final step is to develop criteria for measuring the success of your event. Once you are finished with the event, how would know if the event was successful or not? How will you measure the success of your event? You should define metrics as the ways you'll evaluate your event far before it takes place. A good place to start is with the goals and objectives you identified in step one. This could be as simple as finding out how many tickets you sell and through what sources. What was the cost per attendee? And how many qualified leads did you gain? How many pre-orders did you sell? In addition to quantifying the success of your event, you should also take a qualitative look at the event to understand the sentiment and attendee satisfaction. Compiling the outputs of these steps together, you will come up with a perfect event plan. Work through each of these steps to create a strong, actionable strategy for your event. The key to successful project planning is to start early. When planning an event, you should begin your planning as early as possible. With many moving pieces, getting a head start means a smooth finish. The concepts and techniques you learned at Projects Mind are applicable to all your projects and are used by Fortune 500 firms. If you like this video then hit the like button and let us know how you feel about us by leaving a comment in the below section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to see our latest videos when they come out. See you later and bye for now.